Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eye Reader. Well, it's one of my favorite times of the year, and that's April, which is National Poetry Month. And I thought I would start the month off with a tag video. And I'm going to do the Poetry Tube Newbie Tag. It is a <clears throat> tag created by Strip Cover Lit, and I will include the original tag video below. And let's just jump on in and start with the questions. First question, do you read and write poetry or do you just read it? Currently, I just read it. <laughs> I have dabbled in it before, but I haven't written anything in a long time. Second question, who is your favorite poet? Well, Nikki Giovanni, I probably would say, is my favorite poet. Um, I like a lot of um, different poets and I'm have been um, discovering new ones each year that I've done this um, project so Nikki still is the top <laughs> I can read her collections over and over again third question what is one question you would ask your favorite poet well one of the ladies from my book club um, she actually is friends with Nikki Giovanni and they've been friends since the 60s <laughs> and so my question would be related to my book club person I would ask was she really that wild back in the day because now she's a very prim and proper lady and she's always talking about the type of parties that her and Nikki and the types of things they got into um during the 60s and the 70s and I'm just like I don't believe it so I, that would be my question it would be a personal question and it'd be more so about my book club member so, uh, the next question is, what is your favorite poem? Well, of course, it would be a Nikki Giovanni poem. And it's a poem I've actually done on this channel before. And it's the kidnap poem. And it goes a little something like this. Ever been kidnapped by a poet? If I were a poet, I'd kidnap you. Put you in my phrases and meter. You to Jones Beach or maybe Coney Island. Or maybe just to my house. Lyric you in lilacs. Dash you in the rain. Blend into the beach to compliment my sea. Play the lyre for you. Old you with my love song. Anything to win you. Wrap you in the red, black, green. Show you off to mama. Yeah, if I were a poet, I'd kidnap you. <laughs> love you, Nick Giovanni. <laughs> Anyway, I love her. So that's my favorite poem. The next question is, what is your favorite poem to read aloud? Well, I like that one to read aloud. But last year, um, during National Poetry Month, I did find this poem, and it's called 1,968 Winners by um, Jackie Early. And I love this poem. Got up this morning... Feeling good and black. Thinking black thoughts. Did black things. Played all my black records. And minded my own black business. Put on my best black clothes. Walked out my black dough. And Lord have mercy. White snow. <laughs> I love it and I can easily see that being a, a spoken word piece so I love saying that one out loud and I believe Muhammad Ali actually said it some words similar to that so he was a poet on disguise or, but I have another video about that I'll link that one too <laughs> below um who is on your Mount Rushmore of poetry well Mount Rushmore has four people on it but I have five on my Mount Rushmore poetry. Of course, Nikki Giovanni, Langston Hughes, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Gwendolyn Brooks, and Phyllis Wheatley. Those would be mine. What is your favorite poetry collection? Well, um, last year, Ginger from is on page 47. She, she, she suggested a book to me. And it's a, a collection that 
I have read the majority of the poems in it before, but it was a wonderful collection to have them all together. And that's the Vintage Book of African American Poetry. And it's edited by Anthony Walton and Michael Harbour. And it goes from pre-Civil War, so you have poets like Phyllis Wheatley, all the way to the 1990s. And it's a wonderful collection to see a wide breadth of African Americans who have written poetry. So, next question. Rhyming. Talk about it. Yes, no, not anymore. Well, I am a fan of the rhyme. To me, it shows the depth of the poet's language base. To be able to pull words together that rhyme and have the true meaning. So, I love a good rhyme. I don't care if it's a end of the line <laughs> uh, or if it's internal where the rhyming occurs in the middle of the the sentence or the line and yes yes to the rhyme I like it <laughs> next question barn free verse what is your favorite poetic form well I like a haiku which is a Japanese um, form of poetry and it has where you have the five syllables five syllables first line seven syllables second and then five for the third and anytime Someone can do a witty haiku. I love it. I, it's, it makes, um, shows you're creative to be able to condense a thoughts down into those three short lines. I would also say like a couplet would probably, since I like rhyme patterns, would be my second favorite type of, uh, next favorite kind of um, poetic form. Because I like to see the rhyming of every, having two lines and then, two lines out such as that that I like a couplet too next question human poetry or no yes nothing like having a, a good chuckle after um, poetry doesn't have to be so serious that it's just like mind could um, it can it can actually be fun I think poetry should be able to express every emotion and why not the the emotion of happiness yeah I do like it. Um, matter of fact, the poem, the 1968 Winters, to me is a little bit humorous. The last line is humorous to me. You have all this blackness and then all of a sudden you're confronted with white. It's ironic and it's, as well as humorous. Um, last year I did a poem called The Reason I Know the Devil is Me by Jarvis DeBerry and I'll link that video below. And I, you can literally see me in the video having a hard time not laughing at the poem, which I thought it was great. Um, especially like in the African American church, people do poetry quite often, and it's usually usually something funny because you want to break the audience's attention because things can be sometimes very emotional. So you want to inject a little humor sometimes. I'm, I'm all for the humor in poems. Last question: What elements do you think contribute to the best poetry? Well, I think rhythm, number one, if I read a poem and I can't catch what is going on, I can't catch a flow to it, you know, you can call it free verse all you want. But if it ain't got no rhythm, you just throw some words on the page to me. Um, rhyme, I've already talked about it. I definitely like a good rhyme. Repetition, repeating sounds, repeating words. I like that in poetry. Also, just language, the use. The language should be telling a picture. It should be helping create an idea in that poem and so those are the elements that I really like in poetry so if you haven't done this tag please do it and let me know below that you are doing the tag I hope that you will join me this month as I continue to share different forms of poetry with everyone thanks for watching and have a great day